gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Airsoft Al, and I wish to show you another build I did, but one that is not complete yet, but <laughs> it is actually kind of fun. It is, of course, ladies and gentlemen, my Colt Magpul PTS M4 build. Now, this right here is actually not your typical Magpul PTS M4 build. In reality, this is based off of a body of a mark of a uh Cybergun Mark 18 body with the gearbox, a classic army uh, motor with a mark with the standard uh, hop up unit for the Mark 18. Well, not really the standard hop up unit of Mark 18. In reality, I'm actually using an Elite Force hop up unit, which has a built in nub into the actual arms themselves, which I will be doing a review one day on those. I'm going to kind of talk about this, but you know, this thing is actually kind of nice. It's a rotary style hop up, very nice, and it has. Of course, as the furniture, a Magpul SL handguard, a PTS buttstock, and honestly, it's actually pretty good. Also, a PTS motor grip. Uh, the body itself is actually polymer, and as you can see up here, I have a threaded uh, muzzle device. Sadly, that means I cannot affix bayonets, so of course, the Def Corps of Krieg will come after me for that, but again, just semantics. But the cool thing is that this is uh, wired to Tamiya, and it's not done yet. You probably see why it's not done, because uh, that little bit right there does not have a, uh, a trigger guard, which I am actually going for a Dark Earth uh, Magpul trigger guard. And the other thing is that I do have a carry handle on here, but of course, if I'm not using the AR style uh, <laughs> sight right there, which I, I do plan to do in the future, I will, of course, be using a ACOG that I do have. Uh, now, you're probably wondering, why do I have it set up like this and not say, you know, otherwise? Well, I have it set up like this because, of course, I want to use it as part of my Colt SMG build, which I do have a magazine adapter that is actually kind of cool, and I will be talking about that in the future. But Outside of that, what are the notable features of this little bad boy? Well, the notable features I want to kind of point out, besides, of course, the SL handguard, which I will be talking about in the future. Um, I will be reviewing this in the future. I want to definitely talk about it a little more in depth, but not in this video. Uh, the other thing I want to kind of talk about is just the things I really plan to do with this. Now, internally, there is a Type Warner barrel from Angel Customs. This has an Angel Customs Type Warner barrel. Uh, it definitely shoots fucking laser beams, and I'm definitely happy for that. Uh, this is wired to Tamiya, like I said, and it is the Quick Change Spring System Mark 18 gearbox. Uh, the gear, the motor it did come with, of course, uh, I was not happy with, so I chucked that and went with the Classic Army uh, Sports Line motor, which does give this a nice responsive trigger, or at least, you know, some of that nature. Uh, the biggest part of it is the ETU in here, which sadly does make it a little mushy, but it's supposed to be responsive. Now, I may change the motor in the future, depending on how things go, uh, but again, it's it's one of the, it's the sports line, it's the classic army sports line motor. Uh, I may change that in the future. Uh, the other notable feature is the charging handle, which has an extended lever on it, which makes it that much easier, so if I actually slap in a mag and I want to do that, I can literally just either go like that, which, oh, that just sounds so nice, or just do like that. Again, it's definitely a nice, um, build, I'm not going to lie. Uh, again, I, I just love the way this thing is set up, the way it looks, the way it feels. It just, it's really, really good. Now, again, I would talk a little more, but why don't we go ahead, not talk, and actually go to, of course, the shooting and see how this thing does when it shoots. All right, so we have an 11-1 LiPo in here. Let's go ahead and here, that that it, it, it's unloaded. Obviously, I've checked about all that good just. But let's just go ahead and hear that classic army motor mixing with the Mark uh, Mark uh, 18 gearbox. Ooh, 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 that's ooh, that's lovely. What about full auto? Ooh, ooh, that's lovely. That's nice. So let's go ahead, load up with some. BBs just to kind of see that nice bit right there. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. Oh, that is. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I love that. I love that. That's just wonderful. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. Now, I know a lot of you already are having questions. That's understandable. Uh, what else do I want to do with this that's not done? Well, aside, of course, from the trigger guard, I want to also actually get up in here and swap out the regular fire selector, which is on here, for the PTS fire selectors, which are actually much more extended. I want to kind of go with the black fire selector because it's much bigger, much better, and has that nice... Uh, well, well, you see them on screen right here, of course, I'm talking about these. The only thing I'm definitely thinking about changing out is the threaded suppressor mount on here. I want to, I might change it out for an actual PTS uh, uh, flash hider. I don't know which one yet. Again, I definitely want to find one. I don't know if I want to have suppressor capabilities on this. I, I am thinking about uh, what kind of PTS uh flash cage, a flash hider I want to put on here. Again, I don't know yet. It's one of those things I'm definitely thinking. But aside from that, I can't really think of anything else I definitely want to do with this to make it just that much more better. Again, I like it the way it is right now. It's good as is, in my opinion. Uh, outside of, of course, the motor, which may change. I don't know. I was thinking about it having the actual standard PTS pistol grip, but this one right here, which is PTS, uh, I like it the way it is. It's nice, it's big, it's very comfortable, it's good in the gloves, it's got that nice texturing on there for, of course, her pleasure. It just feels good. I love the SL because not only is it thin enough for me to wrap my hand, it's definitely a somewhat improvement over the MOE, I want to say, but it has the nice finger stop here and up here to definitely just give it a nice bit of grip. And it just looks nice and lovely. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the only thing about it. Like I said, this is part of an SMG build, which is going to be talking about the Star Mag Adapter, which I won't show in this video, but I might show in the future. But, either way, though. This build was actually done uh, by you guys. This was actually able to be done via the PayPal donations. And I am very happy with that. And if you want to help out in finishing this build, or at least making this build to where it is able to be fielded very nicely, then consider donating to the PayPal down below. It was folks like you that actually helped make this build possible, and I am, of course, hoping to do more in the future. I am hoping to get more, uh, I'm hoping to get a lot with this, basically to where it's to a point that I'm satisfied with taking it out to the field and actually running it. So, yeah, if you want to help out with that, consider joining to the PayPal down below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Down. If you want to comment on this build itself, then please let us know down below in the comment section. And if you've done a Magpul build, please let us know in the comment section down below as well. And if you would run something like this in the future, again, Comment section down below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Al, and I will see all you lovely, lovely people in the next video. Till next time.